Well, old guy's got a little uh, project going on tonight. I got the ballistic gelatin out. I'll show you what I'm doing with that. It's a little bit uh, different, but uh, what we're testing today is this is a Hornady. Uh, this is a 308, so it's a Hornady 168 grain uh, Bortel hollow point match bullet. So we've been, uh, me and my son have been working on this together, and uh, we've been told a couple different things. I've talked to some guys that say these match bullets are great deer bullets. I'm not going to say they're great elk bullets, but uh, 308, we've killed elk with 308. Um, it's not the greatest elk gun we have. Uh, for elk hunting, we use 264s. We thought if uh, we just developed some loads with my son's 308 uh, AR-10, we thought if these will hold up at all, we can do one load. These bullets are relatively cost-effective. Um, they seem to shoot pretty good in the AR-10. We haven't got them dialed in uh, all the way yet, but... Uh, uh, you can buy them in bulk, so we thought, well, it is worth doing a test um, on the ballistics gelatin. I mean, if they just fragment and don't penetrate and just uh, they're a mess, and we'll say, okay, well, we'll use them for target shooting and then develop a different load. We actually have a Sierra Game King uh, load that I've used for years, the plain old Game Kings, not the tipped ones. We've just now bought a few of those tipped ones. We haven't uh, spent much time with them, but uh, we'll see how the ballistic gelatin holds up. If there's anything left of it, maybe we'll shoot one of the Game Kings in there uh, while we got it set up. But I'll show you the gel. So this block of gelatin, you can see, is a little discolored. Um, this was the first block I've got, and I've used it and remelted it a few times. And for whatever reason, it discolors a little bit. I think it'll be okay for what we're doing today. And then I've got a brand new block behind it. But I've done a little bit of testing with... Uh, some 22 caliber stuff. So you can see down in there, there's some wound channels, some bullet fragments of the 22s. Uh, so anyway, we're gonna see how it goes. So that's a 32 inch setup, 16 of each, and this is that 10% FBI ballistic gelatin. So we'll see how it does. Okay guys, this is the 168 grain Hornady Botel hollow point match bullet. It's uh, I'm using CFE powder. This is gonna, I'm gonna guess, I haven't chronographed it, but it's gotta be around 2,700 feet. Here we go. All right, guys, I'll show you what I got here. Kind of interesting. So I think you guys can see it. So this is the this is the wound channel right here. Look at that massive wound channel that that so it tells you that bullet opened up it looks like it fragmented right there but you can see that the lead core slug penetrated that far so you're talking that's about 19 or 20 inches of penetration all this lead and stuff it it blew the block right off or all these rocks and stuff blew the block right off the table So all right guys, so this is the bullet I dug out of there. What's left of it, this is just a little bit of lead core. So there's not much weight retention there. A little, little sh shocked, I thought there'd be more to it. I'm gonna shoot another one. I don't know why I didn't think about this before, but uh, so here's this second block. See all these, these are the ones I shot uh, earlier. I'm gonna flip the block around. So this is essentially a clean block. We'll see what it does, but um, in here, you can see there's some fragments, and this block's a little dirtier than the other, but there's a big piece of lead right there, but and there's some fragment even up into there, but that's a massive wound channel. All right, guys, we're going to shoot one more of these uh, 168 green Hornady boat tail hollow point. Let's go see what we got. All right, guys, about the same penetration. For whatever reason, not quite as much. You can see the bullet right there. So it went through the 16-inch block and just barely penetrated into the second one. We'll dig the bullet out and see what we got. Essentially the same result. Uh, this is just a little bit of lead. You can see the base of the bullet right there. But, uh, you know, what I would say is not great bullet performance. But I don't think I'd be scared to shoot a deer with that. 
I mean, if it's gonna penetrate 18 inches, I mean, you'd still get an excellent wound on a deer and dump all of this energy. You know, it's gonna penetrate a few inches. I mean, I, I would not be scared one bit about shooting a deer animal with that. Definitely would not an elk. All right, guys, for just a good spirit of comparison here, this is one of the tipped Sierra Game Kings. Um, 165 grain bullet, going about that same 2,700 feet per second. I would really expect this guy to give us better penetration and better weight retention. So we'll see how it goes. Alrighty guys, I'm not sure why that did that, but that blew the block right off the table. Let's see what we can see here. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. What happened is, is that bullet kind of deflected and went, went down. Look at that bullet performance. I'm not sure you could ask for better. That is near perfect. Um, you know what's very interesting about it though? Penetration was about the same. So this was the, that was the Hornady match bullet. This is the Game King. Um, I don't know if anybody can argue that's, that's about near perfect performance on that Game King. But what's really interesting is this lighter lead penetrated about the same. So very interesting.